Oh, this is my song. Uh, oh, he's so good, man. He brings everything to the table. Childish Gambino is such a dope ass artist. Ew! Oh, this is Childish Gambino. I got scared. I was like, what is this? He goes off. Like, the beats are ridiculous. I love him. This kind of looked like the movie 12 Years a Slave. This is so upsetting, you guys. Just a light little video to watch. What? You want to see my girl? Check Maxim. Man, why does every black actor got a rap? I really wish this music video wasn't as intense. It's a bonfire, turn the lights out. We burning everything you motherfuckers talking about. It's a bonfire, turn the lights out. I'm burning everything you motherfuckers talk about. Yeah, that's crazy. I love Childish Gambino. Um, I mean, I love Donald Glover as a writer and performer and rapper. He's like a mix of like Chance plus some Kendrick. That imagery was like horrible. Like shades of slavery, deep south. Is that childish Gambino? It's really powerful. All right, Gambino is a mastermind. Fuck a bitch to pass the time. Mass appeal, orange rind. Smoke your green yes. and then mind the beat is which is brew. But beware, this shit is potent. E.E. coming on her face. Now there's poetry in motion. Yeah, Gambino. Poetry in motion. Ooh, I like this video. I love that it's like just a sparse stage. And he's just. Ripping on everybody. I couldn't imagine just like cruising around a warehouse going crazy. He's so fearless. Oh you are just a dog walker. You are just a dog walker. Leaving with your girl when we last seen it. He's got some of the most clever lyricism I've ever heard. His lyrics are so freaking good. This is the first song of his I heard years ago when I was watching Community and I was like, funny person raps? This is my favorite one. Okay. Oh, this is my song. Uh, okay. Hold up, wait a minute. All good, just a week ago. Crew at my house, and we party every weekend. So this music video scared the crap out of me, though. The bear just watching you while the apocalypse happens. I phone got message from Viber. I build the head is so hydra. Or we let bygones be bygones. My God, you pay for your friends. I'll take that as a compliment. Got a house for cutie is. Sorry, I'm just scared of the future. Till 2005, I got your back. We can do this. Hold up. Wow. No matter what you say, what you I'm here for you till the future. That's deep. I like how this is the point in his career when you can like noticeably see the difference between like wacky community guy and like hip hop, like childish Gambino. Yeah, this is a good one. No matter what you say and what you do. So many layers to what he has to say. Oh snap. That's a really good song too. How could I have never heard of it before? I like it a lot. I'm not much of like a big rap fan, but I do like his songs. Got a head dumb French braids, now she I actually don't know this one. She asking why you say that. But I fuck with it. Rich kid asshole. Paint me as a villain. This is one of my favorite Childish Gambino songs. You think he'd be in a hood or the projects with his boys, you know, like chilling up, smoking weed or something. Or he's going through a diner. No hands like soccer teams, y'all fuck boys like soccer teams. You niggas ain't companies. Niggas ain't looking like me. I ain't checking ID, but I'm bouncing with no problem. His videos are so artsy. Hmm. Ooh, more Donald Glovers. What? What? I'm on a P.O. So good. It's just so good. 
Yeah, sweatpants is like my favorite. You kind of like Kanye West, get away with a little more stuff, get a little, get a little out there, a little more crazy. Oh, he's so good, man. He brings everything to the table. And now that it's over, Ooh, I like this song. Couldn't believe, but now I'm so high. Sounds like a nice slow jam, uh, love song. Kinda creepy. Girl, what's your problem? I like how this is shot a lot. The color and stuff, this is really nice to watch. Oh girl. She doesn't look like she's letting him in at all, right? He's stalking a girl, you know. <laughs> he look a little he look a little creepy there. This little might be a drug addict this one. <laughs> she is so unimpressed. Could you imagine actually trying to pick up a girl like that? <laughs> no. Look up, girl. Dude, he's such a good actor with such good comedic timing, and it's cool that like that's where he came from. I'm more of a fan of this than his like, um, than his like kind of yelling, not yelling, but like aggressiveness. That video was insane. Like. He he was clearly playing it playing out a lot of things in his head that should get him institutionalized. So the next song doesn't have a video yet, but it's gotten really popular, so we have the audio for you to listen to. I'm assuming Redbone. Redbone? Is it gonna be from a bathroom? <laughs> this song has a special place in my heart. This is Redbone, right? Yes. I fucking love this song. Interesting uh, art. <laughs> wow, that's him too? This Wait, this is him singing? It doesn't even sound like him. Wow, this is pretty good. Twitter is insane with this one. Oh my God. And you know it's a great song when it turns into its own like meme. This reminds me, it's got a little Prince vibe. It got that old school kind of flavor to it, like a 70s, 80s kind of music. I just, uh, vibe. This is a song that you can like play at a party, but also just play when you're hanging out with your friends or when you're just like by yourself. It's so good. I wish you would put out a music video for that song, man. It's so good. When I downloaded this album, I was like, expecting the oldest stuff, like the rapping, but I'll be damned if I don't like it. It's brilliant. You can see from his earlier songs, I'm assuming we were watching, to how like the production really built up with instruments especially. It's so cool to see his progression and see so much change, but it still be him. It's just so much Childish Gambino. So those are all music videos by the artist Childish Gambino. Yeah, he's amazing. And his real name is Donald, Donald Glover. You don't have to tell me, I already know. And he is an actor and comedian who has been on shows like Community in Atlanta and is in the new Spider-Man movie and so much more, making him one of Hollywood's biggest stars. Absolutely. He's an actor and a comedian? I never knew that. What a talented guy. One of his early successes was actually part of a very popular YouTube channel years back called Derek Comedy. And that would have been when YouTube was just kind of getting its groove. So what do you think about the fact that he's had so much success in so many different areas? I mean, that just shows that he's like a man with many crafts. Like, it takes a lot for you to be able to be successful in more than just one field. He's your modern day renaissance man. I'm nowhere as busy as he is and I can't even get like one you know, section of my life right. That is like unreal, especially because he started on YouTube. What if YouTube never existed? We would never have like this guy's talent to like bless our lives. It's honestly one of the most inspiring things in the world that he wanted to do so many things and he wasn't just like, oh, I need to focus on this, I need to become this. He just did all of it. It's annoying as an actor to see someone so multi-talented. There's a few examples of like actors who definitely shouldn't go into music or musicians who definitely shouldn't go into acting. Watching him uh, as Troy, like doing all these funny little raps and like being so hilarious and different, 
that I was like, oh, I'm not going to listen to his music. Of course I am. So when you listen to his rap, how does it differ or not differ from other rap artists? You can listen to his raps by themselves without the music, and it's just how lyrically like skilled he is. It's modern funk, honestly, which is a very unutilized genre, and it's it's almost non-existent. And he mixes that with the rap and a little bit of rock and stuff like that. The layer upon layer of like. Um, uh, of really good lyrics and also really different styles of music just makes, it sets it apart from everything else. A lot of the rap now, man, is like, man, mumble rap. It's, it's art in its way, but there's, like, it's not, you know, like this type of art. The rap that's out there right now, it's a lot of, it's a lot of mumble rap. Different music, a little different. He got a little hip hop edge to it, a little 80s, 70s, little vibe to it. He can go pop, he can go hip hop, he can go rock. He does super hard stuff, but then it's also like, I don't know. It's like music, like he makes timeless pieces of music as opposed to maybe something that's just like popular for the moment. So finally, he recently announced that his next album looks like it will be his last. What? <sighs> Donald. Stating that his music career is no longer necessary. Yeah, I mean, I get it. It's, he's moving on. Do you think that it's a good idea to stop while he's ahead or should he keep making music alongside how busy he is with his other projects? Um. He should, but uh, you know, the way, as good as he is, you know, I don't think he's gonna stop. Someone of his, who has his level of creativity, I don't think they ever, like, are gonna fully stop making music. Ain't no money really in the music. The money, he like, yo, the, the Hollywood come calling, they, they cash, they, they dish out them checks. He know where that paper at. One of your outlets becomes a chore, then I think it's really smart to choose where your love and your passion is. I'm gonna guess that he's wanting to go more deeper into, you know, acting, directing, and that kind of direction. He's so good. If he's like busy with his acting and comedy and what he wants to do, there's the same amount of like, like, um, like heart is not gonna be put into his music and that's gonna show no matter what. That's one of the most important things about art is realizing where you are as a person and what you've put out and what's enough. Because anyone can paint a canvas and then keep painting and add different facets and do different stuff, but there's a point where it just becomes complete. Thanks for watching this episode of Adults React. We have new episodes almost every day, so subscribe. We respond to comments for the first 30 minutes of every new video posted, so make sure you hit the bell to know when we go live. Bye for now. Hey guys, Ethan here from FBE. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Adults React. What musician do you want us to react to next? You gotta let us know in the comments.